Hey, what's up Streamkeepers and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I actually wanted to share some of the processes that I do uh, in terms of transporting streams and what are some of the challenges that I actually have uh, that came up with this uh, new process that I'm actually using uh, to actually, you know, uh, from the quarantine perspective, from the floating and acclimatization perspective, I think uh, I kind of like, you know, want to reduce the number of steps um, so that it's more seamless and it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, you know, create more, uh, you know, movements in terms of the streams and more uh, stress to the streams as well. So probably you're okay. So you know, probably you're gonna hear some of these background noises. Actually, we are uh, still doing some of the stuff outside. Uh, definitely, you know, uh, you know, even in this room, uh, we we are actually using three different. Uh, pumps, air pumps, uh, we are actually using the uh, uh, Fujimac air pumps. Uh, they are really quiet, uh, they are rated at 40 liters per minute, uh, really quiet. I have switched over from high blow to Fujimac because of the sound. Um, definitely, you know, Fujimac has you know, won all this, uh, all this uh, you know, uh, comparison as well. So coming back to today's topic, uh, you know, uh, in terms of uh, transporting streams and what are some of the challenges that I actually have in terms of uh, transporting streams. I think uh, over the years we have been using a lot of these uh, you know, disposable bags that we have been using uh, and one of the things that I find that you know first we have to you know, net the streams and put it in the box or a breeder box or a holding box or a cup or something and then we transfer the streams over to the bag and then we bag the bag take the streams somewhere else uh, and then we float the bag and, and things like that and then we throw away the, the bag and you know and all of that I think that's very uh, from a process standpoint it is very it has been with us for many many years right uh, a lot of uh, aquarium shops has been using that and I, I don't see any any issues with it uh, I think that's a perfect way uh, is, is a really a good way to actually move the streams around or move the fishes around uh, however, for streams, I think there is uh, scope to actually uh, improve the, the the process and the methodology in terms of acclimatization, so that you know we increase the chances of the streams acclimatizing uh, better to the tank uh, without with without having too many steps involved. Move, you know, first you scoop the you net the streams in the in the cup and then from the cup you move it to the bag and from the bag you float the bag and then you take out the bag and, and things like that so if you can use it in a seamless uh, manner uh, process i think that will definitely help uh, the the rate of uh, acclimatization um, you know definitely uh, that's something that i actually wanted to share to you today uh, so it has nothing to do with uh, in terms of you know, changing a process or things like that. Just wanted to share with you guys how I do it on my side, and and for uh, you know, regardless whether it's, uh, I think it's more suitable for uh, countries that are smaller or you know nearby within an hour or two. Uh, you can actually travel there without you know bagging up and, and things like that. So I actually came out with this thought thought process. You know, how do I actually reduce the number of times the streams uh, get from one tank to the other? So that's where I you know started to think about uh, how how I actually do it. <clears throat> so normally, what we do, you know, you know, regardless whether is it for for local or for export, uh, what we do is that we actually devein the streams. We devein the streams, not you know, not not killing the stream, but deveining them uh, is a is a process where we stop feeding the streams and then we let the streams you know uh, you know discharge or discharge all their waste and that. That process is actually to, uh, you know, enhance the, the the quarantine, the acclimatization, and things like that uh, to the streams. It also increases the the likelihood that you know the stream survival rate as well because uh, we do not want to introduce ammonia in the in the in the bag or, or the transportation carrier uh, as much as we can. Uh, that's why you know we we do a lot of uh, this deveining process uh, way before uh, we actually ship them ship them out. Um, so. From that perspective, you know we, we can actually net the, the streams in the in the container first, and if if let's say you know you're going to do the deveining and things like that. However, you know as the process you know uh, you know improves, you can actually you know net the streams directly into these small little containers, 
And then from these small little containers, you can actually put 10, 15 of uh, juveniles. You can put them and then uh, stack them into these uh, Tupperware boxes, airtight boxes. And uh, you know, usually what I do is that I will actually use uh, frog beads uh, instead of mosses. Um, so it serves the same purpose, they need something to clink on. Um, you know, some like to use uh, nets, so for export definitely we use nets because uh, it's cleaner. Uh, for local, you know, we can use uh, frog bees, we can use mosses, we can use uh, nets, anything that, that, that works well. Uh, and then, you know, when we have all these uh, you know, four, four containers filled up, uh, we put them into the big Tupperware, airtight. Uh, put them in the cooler bag because Singapore is really hot. Um, so there's, you know, I, I look for these uh, very uh, inexpensive cooler bags. Uh, we can actually have space for, you know, air air pumps. Uh, we can actually drill the hole uh, on the on the Tupperware to actually get uh, air, air tubes in there so that, you know, for a longer journey, uh, you can actually, uh, you know, have, have that uh, introduced as well. Um, so f having, you know, four compartments, we can actually you know, separate the, uh, the the number of streams in in it, so it encourages you know, so it encourages the the stream to be less stressed. So we want to you know, we all, what we want to do is that we want to ensure the survivability and the uh, acclimatization. I think that's the, the 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 objective of why we want to introduce this process. Um, and then when everything is all said and done, we can put it inside. And if the weather is too hot, usually we put an ice pack. Um, and then we will bring them to, to, to wherever it is. And then once we arrive at the location, you know, and then uh, you can actually straight away uh, take these uh, little containers out and float them in the, in the tank because they will float. Uh, they float them in the tank. And uh, there are a couple of ways, I mean, I've shared this, you know, prepping your tank uh, ready for, for streams. Uh, there are a couple of ways in terms of uh, how do you actually introduce the streams in the tank. Uh, if let's say, you know, if your tank water parameters are the same, uh, just transferring one, uh, one to the other, you know, the streams from one tank to the other, I think that's fine, you know, uh, most of the time, you know, we uh, have a quite a standard process in terms of our water parameters. Uh, our water parameters are more or less quite similar in that sense. So in that sense, uh, you can actually uh, pour the streams into once it's acclimatized, you can actually pour the streams directly into the tank. Uh, I don't see any issues with that. However, if let's say you are, you know, if if we do not want the water to be in the tank, uh, then we can actually scoop the streams up and put it in the tank and then uh, throw away the wastewater. So the the whole whole reason for 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 doing this uh, video is actually you can actually see that from a process standpoint, we do not have to you know throw away bags again so i i don't have to tie them bag them uh float the bag throw away the bag uh and things like that so this this method actually helps me uh helps me a lot in terms of transporting streams around um so it actually helps uh, in terms of the uh, acclimatization as well because if for example if it's a is a like for example if a friend wants a stream or something and it's close by uh, maybe 20 30 minutes drive all we have to do is that we net the streams, uh, we put it in the container, and then we pack it, you know, in, in the cooler bag. We, 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 you know, deliver, and then we can actually, you know, they can actually use these containers, and then they just float in a tank. So, from a process standpoint, we actually, uh, you know, helps, helps cut down a lot of these uh, processes. Uh, so to ensure survivability of, of the streams as well. So that's the reason why I wanted to share with you guys uh, this video. You know, definitely there was a lot of room for improvement. So if you have, if you guys have any ideas on how to actually improve the process further, please write in the comments below. I will definitely look at it um, because all we want to do is that we want to ensure that the, the process from the tank to the other tank to be as seamless as possible and you know to encourage all this quarantine uh, acclimatization uh, perspective to, to have it much better in, in that sense. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video and if you like this video please remember to give a thumbs up and for those who are new please remember to subscribe to this channel and until next time peace out.